All right, guys, so how's it going? Hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day. I know I am. Going to do a little bit of target practice, the old Hoyt. So just thought I would sling some arrows. It's been a while since I've been able to. Just uh, gonna take a couple shots here. Make sure that uh, I'm dialed in. I haven't shot in a while, like I said before. And uh, it's just good to check your game. 30 yards. All right, guys, so here's the thing. I'm gonna show you absolutely everything that I do on here because I'm not afraid to show you what I do wrong. I pulled a shot, not all those shots are perfect. I haven't been doing my due diligence to actually shoot my absolute best that I can. So, I absolutely think that you need to spend as much time on your gear practicing because that is the only way your tools are gonna to become accurate. You can have the most expensive gear out there, but if you're not doing the work for yourself, the shots are going to be subpar. Let's go see what I got. Okay guys, so they're actually not too bad. This is the one right here that I pulled and this was my first shot, second shot, third shot. So they're not horrible, but 30 yards, I should be a lot better. I should have let down on this one, but I didn't. All right, guys, so real quick, I just shot my first four shots. It actually wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. So I'm pretty happy at 30 yards. I'm gonna shoot uh, about another four or five shots and then I'm gonna pack it up and head back to the house. Okay guys, so in that video, I did a little target practice and I just want to go over what my setup is for this year. It's the same setup I used last year for 2019. It is an RX3 Hoyt. It's their flagship bow for 2019. I have it paired with a Spot Hoggett 5 pin micro adjustment sight. I have a 12 inch Bee Stinger stabilizer, a Hamsky rest, drop away rest. It's a limb driven rest, absolutely a tank recommend you try one out and then I have gas bow strings 70 pound limbs and a number three cam with this bow I'm shooting about 280 285 with the arrow setup that I'll be using this year is the Easton axis these are 300s of spine they're max grade we've got 150 grains up front four fletching AE max Fletchings, I love these uh, four fletchings. It just stabilizes your broadhead so much quicker and keeps it out to distance. I feel like I'm more accurate with that. This is right around 500 grains, just a little bit over. I like a heavy arrow, uh, anywhere between five and 600 grains, I think is plenty enough. My sweet spot is five to, you know, 550. So this is what I'm gonna be using this year and I'll be topping it with a nocturnal. And then as far as my release, as you can see in the video, this is a knock on, knock to it by John Dudley. Uh, if you have never tried a back tension or a thumb button release of any sort, go to your local archery shop, check them out, try them out, and get into the whole back tension release. It's gonna make you that much more accurate this season. Hopefully defeat the target panic to where you slam the trigger home when that big buck steps out. Guys, thank you for watching. 
and remember, get outdoors. Thank you.